Georgia lawmakers began what will be a contentious legislative session today with guns, voting rights and Buckhead City likely to be among the issues taking center stage. You wouldn't have known it today, though. 11 Alive's Doug Richards is live with more. Hey, Doug. You know, there's certainly a lot of election yeah, election year intrigue leading into this legislative session. Democrats and Republicans jousting over issues. Republicans uh, testing the popularity of Governor Kemp as he faces a Republican challenge this spring. And yet on this very first day, uh, some other priorities emerged. Republicans and Democrats lined up to enter a makeshift COVID-19 testing clinic on the Capitol's second floor, a bipartisan nod to public health. The spirit extended to a bipartisan photo shoot of Cobb <laughs> County lawmakers and most of all to the University of Georgia, its emblem emblazoned on the face mask of House Speaker David Ralston and its fight song a hit among members of both parties. The divisive stuff will start in earnest Wednesday. Republicans are producing bills to eliminate absentee ballot drop boxes to create a separate city in Atlanta's Buckhead community. Lawmakers will also grapple with an election year gun bill, eliminating the concealed carry permit requirement, which means the bipartisan spirit of this first day. It's going to last about as long as uh, the football game tonight, and then it'll be over. I mean, it's, it's not going to last that long. Democrat James Beverly says the gun bill in particular, called constitutional carry, is wrongheaded. Enough is enough. And constitutional carry in this day and age doesn't make any sense whatsoever, and we'll certainly fight it. But it will be an uphill fight for Democrats during an election year when Republicans are still firmly in charge. We need constitutional carry. As law-abiding citizens, we have the right to bear arms by the Constitution of this great country. And that is Emory Donahue, who represents a rural area of North Georgia between Hall and Banks counties. And he says that when he goes home, his constituents tell him that they want nothing more than to have uh, permitless, permitless guns available for, or that they, <laughs> that they are able to carry guns without permits. Uh, where they live. And those are the kind of voices that are going to be driving a lot of the debate, especially on the Republican side, uh, coming up this year. Back to you. A lot of information you're tracking. Thanks for that recap, Doug.